William C. Rempel, The Gambler, How Penniless Dropout Kirk Kerkorian Became the Greatest Dealmaker in Capitalist History. Embark on the extraordinary journey of Kirk Kerkorian, a man who rose from humble beginnings to become a billionaire and the greatest dealmaker in capitalist history. This summary of a The Gambler by William C. Rempel delves into the adventures of Kerkorian, a man known for his love for gambling, dealmaking, and aviation. Discover how an Armenian-American 8th grade dropout went on to own MGM Studios, become a prominent figure in Las Vegas, and make bold moves in various industries, all while maintaining a private philanthropic lifestyle. The Life of Kirk Kerkorian Kirk Kerkorian led a long, eventful life full of twists and turns. Despite being an 8th grade dropout, he achieved incredible success as a welterweight boxing champion, World War II aviator, and billionaire business icon. Nevertheless, throughout his life, he was an obsessive gambler who loved to play craps and $1 slot machines. Kerkorian even wagered $1 million on a single roll of the dice and won. Despite his gambling habits, Kerkorian was known for his thoughtfulness and kindness. He hated public speaking, crowds, and attention but maintained a circle of well-known friends, including Cary Grant. Overall, Kerkorian's story is one of perseverance and determination in the face of adversity. The Unpredictable Childhood of Kirk Kerkorian Born in Fresno to an Armenian family, Kirker Kerkorian's childhood was characterized by financial instability, hard work and personal detachment from material things. His family, who faced years of financial emergencies and lost their farm, moved to Los Angeles, where Kirker sold newspapers and caddied during the Great Depression. Though his original plan was to become a professional boxer, he fell in love with planes as a young man and traded farm chores for flying lessons. Kerkorian became a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist, a testament to his resilience and determination. The Remarkable Life of Kirk Kerkorian Kirk Kerkorian, a standout RAF pilot during World War II, made a name for himself as a successful aviation broker and Vegas personality. He ferried planes across the North Atlantic and flew the lightweight Mosquito in a manner that harnessed powerful tailwinds. Kerkorian was a skilled businessman, who made shrewd investments in aviation and gambling. He founded Trans International Airlines and later took over Western Airlines. Kerkorian even dabbled in the automobile industry, attempting to take over America's three biggest automakers. His legacy was one of success, punctuality, and honor. Kirk Kerkorian's life was nothing short of remarkable as he accomplished numerous feats that made him a celebrated figure. During World War II, Kerkorian joined the Royal Air Force Ferry Command Team and made transatlantic flights piloting DH-98 Mosquito fighter bombers, a relatively lightweight aircraft. He demonstrated exceptional talent as a pilot, and his ability to fly the Mossy while harnessing a tailwind earned him accolades. This standout and impressive act was what set him apart from his peers. After the war, Kerkorian made a name for himself in the commercial aviation sector, becoming one of the most renowned aviation brokers in America. His shrewd investments in his aviation business paid off handsomely, and his fame extended beyond the commercial aviation sector to the gambling industry in the 50s. He established himself as a well-known Vegas personality who had lines of credit in all the best gaming houses. Kerkorian was also a successful businessman who founded Trans International Airlines, TIA, and took over Western Airlines. He later attempted to take over America's three biggest automakers, which was a testament to his excellent business skills. Kirk Kerkorian's legacy is one of success, punctuality, and honor. In all his dealings, he made sure his debts were promptly paid and that a handshake was as binding as any contract. His life is an inspiration to many who aspire to achieve immense success in both personal and professional endeavors. The Audacious Life of Kirk Kerkorian Kirk Kerkorian, a self-made billionaire, made his mark in Las Vegas by transforming the resort, gaming and movie industries. He built the world's largest hotels, including the MGM Grand three times. Kerkorian's daring moves and audacious stratagems led him to be called a deal junkie. 
In the early 1960s, he purchased 80 acres of rundown real estate in Las Vegas and traded key lots to gain strip access. Kerkorian leased the land to an Atlanta developer who built the luxurious Caesars Palace, and Kerkorian received monthly lease payments, a percentage of the casino's profits and a two-bedroom suite. Kerkorian's wealth skyrocketed in the late 1960s, after his charter air service went public and left him with stock worth $66 million. He then built the International Hotel, which was the world's largest hotel at that time. Kerkorian bought the Flamingo, originally built by Mafioso Siegel, as a training site for the huge staff needed for his opening. When Kerkorian signed Elvis Presley to a multi-million dollar contract to appear at the International, the shows made Elvis a Las Vegas legend. Kerkorian and Nick the Greek One was a billionaire businessman, the other a legendary gambler. Yet, Kirk Kerkorian and Nick the Greek shared similar views on money. Kerkorian bet big on deals, but shied away from ostentatious displays of wealth. He was also remarkably generous, as seen in his private philanthropy in his relief efforts following an earthquake in Armenia. Meanwhile, Nick the Greek saw money as a stake in the game, not a reflection of character or worth. He won big and lost big, but always remained calm. Kerkorian, a pallbearer at Nick's funeral, secretly helped pay for the gambler's funeral and gravestone. Despite their different paths, Kerkorian and Nick the Greek shared an indifference to money and a humility that set them apart from others. The Rise of Kerkorian, King of Las Vegas Kirk Kerkorian, an unassuming billionaire dealmaker, made a fortune by investing in an undervalued film studio. In 1969, he took control of MGM, seeing potential in its film library in diversified assets. He later purchased United Artists and Columbia Pictures, expanding his Hollywood reach. Kerkorian's relentless pursuit of profitable opportunities led him to Las Vegas, where he bought the Desert Inn and Sands Hotels, followed by Mirage Resorts and Mandalay Bay. His vision for the development of city center made him a legend in the city. With a wealth of $1.29 billion, he was named one of the 400 richest Americans by Forbes. Kerkorian's shrewd and tough negotiating tactics earned him a reputation as a formidable dealmaker and king of Las Vegas. The Turbulent Love Life of Kirk Kerkorian Kirk Kerkorian's love life was tumultuous as he went through several marriages and divorces. His first marriage ended after nine years because of his absence from home, and he had to pay his wife $50,000 upon divorce. His second marriage lasted 28 years and had two daughters, one of them adopted. Kerkorian's third marriage was a short-lived affair with tennis pro Lisa Bonder, who claimed he was the father of her daughter but was later proven wrong through DNA tests. Kerkorian had to pay record-breaking child support, and she even sued him for million-dollar settlements. Kerkorian finally found love at the age of 90, proposing to his longtime companion, Una Davis, and marrying her in 2014. The Rise and Fall of a Billionaire Billionaire Kirk Kerkorian's net worth experienced a sharp decline from $18 billion to $3 billion during the Great Recession in 2008. In the late 2000s, his health began to fail, leading to his bedridden state in 2015. Kerkorian died at 98, with his life divided into two phases, before and after the fall caused by a head injury after slipping on a marble floor. Kirk Kerkorian's life story, as chronicled in The Gambler, is a testament to persistence, vision, and risk-taking. From his early days as a newspaper vendor to the heights of entrepreneurial success, Kerkorian's journey is filled with daring moves and bold business dealings in aviation, entertainment, and the hotel casino industry. Despite becoming one of America's wealthiest individuals, Kerkorian remained discreet, generous, and humble, shunning the limelight and focusing on the people and causes that mattered most to him. His legacy serves as an enduring reminder of the power of grit, determination, and the willingness to take risks.